create a ionic angular capacitor application. We'll install the NGX translate. Second installation, NGS translate, HTTP loader. In the asset folder, we will create a new folder i18n for the files we store the language information. So we will create for the English language en.json for Hindi hi.json and for French fr.json This file holds the two values title and descriptions and we group it in under the site We will add similar for the Hindi and French In the main.ts file, we need to add the providers, so uh, make few imports here, translate module, translate loader, HTTP client, HTTP module, we will define here one function. First add the provider for the HTTP client module. We will use here import provider from. Next we will add the provider for the translate module. Add the loader details here. In the app.component.ts, we need to set the default language for the app. We also add here the uh, list of the languages for our app. In the HTML, we will take the common module uh, as we want to use the ng4. Define one uh, list uh, for the languages. We will use to display it in the radio button list. In the HTML, we will take the list of the radio buttons which display the names of the languages so that on the click of the radio button, we will change the app language. Let's check if it's working fine. Okay. Now we need to here add the on change event so that we will change the language of the app on the click. Define the event here. Before that again we import a translate module and a translate service. So in the components import, we will add the translate module. It's a translate service. And we will set change here the language of the app as per the target value. 
Now another next step is to display whether the language is actually changed or not. So the variables declared in our uh, JSON files we set on in the HTML. So site dot title and site dot description. So by default Hindi message is displayed here. Change the language. So it's working accurately. Exchanging the language. Thank you.